I-75, 20 mile marker there, north of uh, Chattanooga, heading toward New Haven, Indiana, which is basically Fort Wayne. Noisy trucks. It's Wednesday, 7.30. People are scrambling to get parking spots, like this guy going in here. I paid for my parking tonight. I rolled in here later than I usually do, and I realized I it's just a battleground out here. There were probably spots, but how often do you really do it? Not that often. Usually I get parked earlier. Monday, this week I took off and I made a trip down to Owensboro, Kentucky. It's a day trip. It worked out really well. I, I took a load down there. It was uh, copper, copper tubing. Or rod, actually, I think it was rod. All wound up. Looked like a good flatbed load. And I I dead headed home from there, but it was a long day. There really isn't anywhere any good way to get down to Owensboro. It's between Louisville and Evansville. I-69 to the west. Going down, I took the... Wow, it's noisy in there. Going down, I took the uh, the more direct way that was smaller roads. And that means down Indiana 37 through Shoals and the Goody, across 50 for a little ways, and then down 231. It was just a long time, so going home, I looked at it closely and I just went across 64 to Louisville and then up. And you know, uh, it was a wash. You know, lots of times when you look at that shorter route versus the faster route, it's a toss up. The parking lot really isn't that big for, for what I thought. But that was a long day and a good day. Then Tuesday, I left out. I was assigned to leave out at noon. But I left out earlier. I left out about 10. And I had a Nestle load going to McDonough, Georgia. And it, was, uh, it wasn't the same place I'd been. It wasn't a Reaper trailer either. Uh, so, but anyway, it was food product. Unrefrigerated food product. But I made it pretty far down and then I parked in uh, a rest area in northern Georgia and I had a noon delivery. So then I went on in. I got in there about. This guy here's parking here. Nice truck. And these guys here, they're waiting to get to get by. Anyway, I uh, I had a noon appointment, so I got there about 10:30, 10:45, and I didn't have to wait too long. They got me in and out. And then I, I just uh, deadheaded to a. Uh, Atlanta suburb, Stone Mountain. Man, this is noisy. And I loaded there at this tiny little place. And you had to go in a real specific way because all of the roads you might want to take or might mistakenly take 
rough in the trucks. So, but they were real, really, really nice. I've got kind of an old trailer, and my tandems did not want to slide. And the guy came out and helped me, and he uh, he bought some brought some blocks to help get some friction there. But uh, got that going, and now I'm up here. So I'll have a good day tomorrow. I'll drive probably it's about 500 miles to where I'm going. I'll drive that and then get close. I'm probably going to go up through Ohio and over to 30 or 33 and hit a cup, uh, one of my little favorite rest areas along the way there. Initially, I thought I could go home, and I would like to, because that'll be three nights on the road this week. I'm not used to that, but I'm uh, whatever happens happens. So I'll deliver this load Friday morning between six and eight a.m. So I'll park close and just go on in there. And I'll be good. I hope I give you an update. I gotta take a half hour break. I'm in uh, southern Indiana. I was 11 minutes short and I was kind of monitoring it as I drove, looking at my GPS estimate for, for you know, when I'd get there and looking at my Qualcomm and my hours left. And what's neat is I have my GPS set so it's. I, I know really well. It's it's catered right to what I would likely drive. And uh, I, I'll show you how to do that, okay? Here you go. Okay, I hope you can uh, you can see this. I'm in Sunmit. Oh, wait. I got to make a phone call. I had to call in real quick. And uh let them know where I was. This is a monitored load. So anytime that I stop the truck for any reason or get off the highway, uh, fuel, stop for the night, stop to take a quick break, stop in a rest area for a right 30 minute break, anytime I have to stop I have to call in and then call them again when I take off again. So they have a GPS locator in the back which is, it's all cool. Let's get back to this though. Okay, here I am on my GPS and I can go to my lower left and push my route settings. And I'm gonna go to my um, route where I'm at and go down a page. And here I have my ETA adjustment and you can see I have increase ETA, more, some, ETA okay, some, uh, decrease, and decrease more. So I've determined that generally speaking, I like it to be on increase ETA some. That's one notch above ETA okay, where I am. And if I do that, Generally, it will keep pace with me pretty good. It's a little slower than I drive. If I am just driving for three or four hours, I'll make up time on it a little bit, but not a significant amount. Depends on how I drive. I found that with Maverick, it I didn't make up quite as much as I do now because I stopped more for load checks and my truck was slower. This truck goes faster. But generally speaking, when you count in your 30 minute break, you count in, you know, stopping and getting out and walking around a little bit, which I hope you do. Um, it, it runs pretty good for me. Back to what I was saying. I've got to stop for a half hour, and you can see I've used up 10 minutes of it already. And what I need to do is I'm going to gather up and get my truck looking good for going home because it's Thursday, and this load, even though it delivers in New Haven, Indiana, which is up near Fort Wayne, another 100 miles north of our terminal. 
um, and I was shooting for there. I mean, I got up on my 10 this morning and I pulled out and I thought, I'm just gonna go, see what happens. Because lots of times, um, my fleet manager sitting back in Anderson is monitoring where I am and she's on the ball, she's smart. And so next thing I know I'm getting a call or I got a, actually I got a, a message saying that my load had changed. So when I could, I pulled over it was when I was getting some fuel, and I looked at it real quick, and it's no longer said go to New Haven. It said go right to our Anderson Terminal. So I thought, that sounds good. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go home tonight. So uh, she then called me a little while later and said, I've got something for you tomorrow, <laughs> which is a Friday. I, I really like to hear that. So what it means that instead of driving up there to New Haven, and I was on a schedule where I would have gotten there at like 2.30 in the afternoon, and my unload time was 6 to 8 a.m. Friday morning. Well, instead of having to either slow down, waste time, get somewhere and park really early, and have a lot of extra time, I was now in a position where I'm gonna go right to our terminal, pass off the load, somebody else will take it up there tomorrow and I'll go on home not only that she got me a really good work assignment for tomorrow a really good day job and I think it'll be a long day it's gonna pay mileage so uh, I don't mind that um, for Friday it's awesome so what I want to do is I want to leave the truck tonight pretty much all set so I'm gonna pull my sheets off the bed I'm going to gather up everything, organize it and everything, so when I do get to Anderson, I can just jump out and go. And then when I come tomorrow, I'll just bring uh, a lunch, and and that's it. And the next thing you know, I'll be finding out what I'm going to do next week.